Good morning. What's your favorite love story? Oh gosh, uh, Lady in the Tramp. Oh, I thought you were gonna say ours. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, one of mine is the Notebook. So we are up with the birds this morning to go out to Monk's Corner. Is it Monk's Corner or Mon Goose Creek? Monk's Corner. Okay, so Monk's Corner. We're going to a place called Cypress Gardens, and it's one of the places that um, a few of the scenes from the notebook was filmed. I think it's $10 per adult to get in, um, $6 for military or seniors, and then kids five and under, I believe, are free. So it'll be a pretty cheap adventure. Yeah, hopefully they'll allow us to go on the little rowboat things they got. But with the rain coming, I don't know. We'll see. It is supposed to rain, but I checked the weather. Not only is it supposed to rain, it's supposed to rain for the next two days. Like, But it's not supposed to start until afternoon. So we might make it. Can you say good morning? Hi. Morning. <laughs> We made it here. They have a little, what is, what is that little thing? Like a little hut whenever you come into, like through the gates, but they don't have anybody in it right now taking your admission, so we have to go into the gift shop. So that's where oh, we're headed right yeah. now. All right, we paid our admission, and now we're headed over to the docks to get on the boat, and it's free with your admission. And I checked just to make sure that Story was gonna be okay since she's only two, and they said she's perfectly fine. So there's parts of this, uh swamp are blocked off because it's mating season for the gators so <laughs> we're in our boat <laughs> daddy's getting a workout daddy's getting a workout what do you think story what do you think is this cool maybe we'll see some gators <laughs> the men at the dock which like what area the notebook was filmed in and he said to count four white arrows so that's one and two three up there and then should be the one after that he said look to the left and there's an open area and that's where they filmed the scene with all the swans swans or geese whichever it was scene of them in the boat with all the swans. I feel like there were more trees in the background. So like the trees in the water, so maybe they were in the boat and they filmed it this direction. Oh, okay, what do you see? This might be a dumb question, but all these trees, are they cypress trees? Hence the name. Well, this is called Cypress Gardens, isn't it? A cypress could be a flower for all I know. <laughs> Pretty sure these are cypress trees. They might. Getting kind of close. Are we going to crash? <laughs> Narrow, 
What do you think about this story? You like being in a boat? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Are we spinning? Yeah. What's that I doing to us? <laughs> Is he gonna make us dizzy? Mm -hmm. There's a pretty little bridge over there. Mm -hmm. If we can go under that bridge. Oh, we are. Thread the needle. Thread the needle. <laughs> I hope there's enough clearance. That looks pretty short. Story might be the only one that fits through. <laughs> Are we going to make it? Mm. Is this for real? Oh my gosh. Duck. Is this for real? Duck. <laughs> We're literally all ducking right now. <laughs> Story's not. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Look at this. Like, that's Tim's head. We actually had to duck to go under this. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Did you say, oh my gosh? Mm. <laughs> I have to tell the story of when we were in Florida last August and we decided to do a kayaking tour. <laughs> Tim and I have never been in a kayak together. And if you've ever been kayaking or in a rowboat, you know that if two people are rowing that it can get complicated if there's no communication and apparently that's where we struggle because we we were terrible i was doing good bumping myself. bumping into clip, people she sticks her oar and bang water and now we're spinning because he was gonna crash hi story we were moving a good clip <laughs> yeah a good hi, clip Mama. right into another boat hi, <laughs> if you remember that scene in the notebook where they're in the boat at the end of that scene, it starts pouring. And since it's in the forecast, we could actually have a real live scene from the notebook if we don't get back in time. I think that was your plan when we woke up this morning. I want to relive the notebook. <laughs>
even if it says it's going to rain, what do we say? Don't trust the weather in the south. You just never know. So I think it's worth the risk to have a morning like this. All right, we made it back. That was so much fun. It really was. Definitely, definitely make it a point to come here and do this. And if you can, try to come at the beginning of the year like this, because it's not humid, there's no bugs, there's nobody here right now. It was great. Yeah. So now we're gonna go get the wagon out of the truck and we're just gonna walk around one of the walking trails for a they little have, bit. Yeah, they have several trails that go around the property. Um, there's a few of them that are blocked off right now because it's apparently alligator mating season coming up. Yeah. So we'll just kind of stick to the ones they said were safe. We're headed back out on the trails now. So we're coming back from the truck and we look to our right, that's the gift shop. And that's where we went to pay our admission this morning. Um, it's a really small little gift shop, but they have a little cooler with some waters and some other little snacks and then just little trinkets like magnets and ornaments and other little things like that. Here's a little map of the perimeters of the gardens. So they told us that the pink area was safe right now, but this blue area down at the bottom and this orange area at the top they're closed right now because alligators are making their nests on the trail and they're getting kind of aggressive right now. So we're just going to stick to the pink and be safe. And you can't say they didn't warn you. Here's another little sign of the wildlife that we might see. I'm sure we saw several of these birds already. Anybody know what these flowers are? Because they're super pretty. And they're all over. Found a little bench. Is this fun? Mm -hmm. Nice little view. Whoa, 
little wobbly, huh? Mm -hmm. There. Oh, my God. My God. Right there. Stop. Good job. <laughs> I'm standing here on this little boat dock that we found, and I look over to my right, and there's this perfect little V cut out. And I'm assuming it's for these little rowboats, and they can just pull up right into it. And there's a cute little heart. I don't know if this is like a memorial to somebody or this is like a reserved spot for somebody special or if it was involved in a movie. I don't know, but super cute. Can you smile for mama? Now look put your head your up. your cuteness. Can you look right here? Yeah. Okay, smile. Watch out for mud! <laughs> Good job. You made it! Okay, We're almost at the end of our path now, and off to the right is the little dock that we got on our boat. Getting ready to leave now, but we're gonna have to come back for sure because Story's never been able to play on these playgrounds yet. And they look a lot of fun. There's some like little turtles over there she can climb on. Those slides look massive. Okay, everybody's loaded back up in the truck and we're headed home. We're absolutely gonna have to come back though. They even have a little butterfly house that you can walk through and there's an a aquarium. Rept a reptile house. A alligator. reptile house. Yeah, they have like there's some alligators and snakes and... I miss that Maybe part. that's part of the aquarium. I think it's all in the aquarium. Might be. But anyways, we had a lot of fun, and I would highly recommend this to anybody that's in the area, especially in the beginning of the year like we were talking about, because it's just, it's nice. It's not hot, there's no bugs, but actually we were crossing the bridge and there was one of the groundskeepers over there, and he mentioned that even in the summer, there's not a lot of bugs, and I guess that's because it's a swamp. Well, he said um, if you're in so, a boat and you're on the water, there's no mosquitoes. But if you're on the path, you'll get bit by, mos by mosquitoes and stuff. Oh. That's what he said. So. Well, either way, yeah. come in February. <laughs> yeah.